Hello and welcome to part 4 of the third of the three weekly lessons about Oracle JET. In this part you'll learn how JET supports internationalization and globalization of JET applications. You'll be shown how to configure your JET applications so that they can be used in a variety of locales and international user environments. JET ships with support for multiple different languages and locales built in. The workflow of internationalizing JET applications consists of three steps. Firstly, understand internationalization and localization support in JET. Secondly, internationalize and localize a JET application. And finally, add the translations to a JET application. To understand internationalization and localization support in JET, be aware that internationalization is the process of designing software so that it can be adapted to various languages and regions easily, cost-effectively, and in particular without engineering changes to the software. Meanwhile, at the same time, localization, l is the usage of locale-specific language and constructs at runtime. Oracle has adopted the industry standards for internationalization and l such as the World Wide Web Consortium recommendations Unicode Technologies and Internet Engineering Task Force IETF specifications to enable support for the various languages, writing systems and regional conventions of the world. JET includes Oracle National Language Support, NLS, translation support for the languages listed in the following table. Specific locales are defined by the IETF BCP47 standards. You can find the supported locale bundles in a JET application, as shown here. You can configure your application to use JET's built-in support for internationalization and localization. Formatting for numbers, dates and times is defined by the Unicode Common Locale Data Repository, CLDR. JET includes a translation bundle that translates strings generated by JET components into all supported languages. You can add your own translation bundle by merging it with the JET bundle. In this part you've learned how JET supports internationalization and globalization of JET applications. For your homework for this part, try adding the RTL settings to an existing page and see what happens to your components. If you have a page with a date time picker in it, Try changing the language in the lang attribute to different languages and see what happens to the values in the date picker. And as always, we thank you for participating in the course and we'll see you in the next part.